All right, hey guys. So I've sent a couple emails about this today, but wanted to also include a couple videos in case that helps you um, grasp this concept a little bit better. Joanna just filmed a really quick one on what to do if the applicant has already actually moved in and became a uh, resident. So that is a separate video that is available on the same YouTube playlist. So look for that one if you're looking specifically for what to do if this application was never assigned to a Summit user and they ended up actually moving in. So if that's the case, there's a little bit different of a process for how you have to go back in and add a employee, a user that's associated with that application. So today though, I just wanna show you how to confirm and just ensure that every applicant in your property is being correctly um, updated with a Summit employee attached to them. So the way you can do that is if you just go into reporting and then there's a report that's called applicant summary. Actually, we'll do uh, uh, rental applications, sorry. And the key here is I want you guys to do two things. The first one, you're gonna click columns and you have to add something in order to see that it's attached to a user. So you're gonna scroll down and you have this one right here, assigned user. So you have to make sure you click that one. If you go back then to just filters, the way this is working from going forward is at the beginning of every month, I'm going to be creating new reporting metrics for the asset managers and for all of our teams to review. And it's going to be for the previous month. So as an example, with the dates that I have here, on February 5th, so at the beginning of next week, I'm going to be doing this for all of January 2023. So whenever you guys are needing to do this, I would recommend either have it just for the previous 30 days, like it shows automatically, or you could always just update it and just have it be for just whatever that current month you're in. So as an example, right now I've got just January 1st through January 30th. I'm gonna just leave it at all properties, but then again, I also added that column for assigned user. So I'm gonna go ahead and click update and that's gonna give me this complete list. Um, since you guys are probably just gonna be looking for your one property, you'll be able to just look at everything here all in one um, page. However, if there might be the, op uh, the chance that you might need to have more than just your property, an example would be if you're trying to look for both Highline Lofts and Albion, since those are both managed by one property manager. This is just an example, but in that type of scenario, you can always go up here to, uh, where is it? To action, where is it? Customize and just add property name. And then if you click on this little gear button, you can click that and say group by property name, and that'll allow you just to break it down by property. So we'll use um, Albion as an example. If you notice that there's some of these that are not showing up with any assigned user, let's just use this bottom one, this uh, Eric Alnelius. If you just click it, it's gonna open up a new window. And if you scroll down here, this applicant summary, you're gonna notice how it's not, you're not able to change it right now. And the reason for that is there's a couple statuses that it kind of locks you out. So that's why it's so, so, so important that kind of moving forward, everybody is really on the same page and trained in a way where as soon as an application comes into Appfolio and you get notified that you have a new applicant, right then and there, do it right then. So I'm gonna go back and just show you a different example of somebody that is, uh, let's see here, we'll do, if somebody's in the pending status, you have the ability still at that sit in that phase to edit. So see how now I have the ability to click edit. Um, when you first get a new application, you also have this ability. So make sure that when you first get an application, you click edit. And then down here under assigned user, just type in your name. And then make sure you click save. So that's just gonna then show up correctly where on the applications, you'll now have your name listed underneath that one. One last thing to note, if you have people that are, for example, roommates, or you're gonna have a shared application link where you have a co-signer or some scenario where more than one person is applying, 
you got to make sure you're doing this for every single person. So if you have three applications, but they're all for the same unit, you need to make sure you're doing this step I'm showing you for all three of those applications. We need to get to the point where under assigned user, every single one of these has a name next to it. This is something that the asset manager is going to be holding me accountable for in order to give accurate reporting data. So I'm going to be holding you guys accountable too. So we, uh, we went over this a few weeks ago and there's still a ton that are missing. So we really got to get better at um, making this more of a followed process by all. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much.